Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm lonely. Look at me. I'm so sorry. I am so weak at the knees. Everything has to be PC or I can't manage my life. Now I'm running up on stages and the comedians can't get no more life. Is this an art form that needs to be delayed? Because these weak as vessels can't come to play. Bay. They're so weak in the knees. <laughs> that is scary. So now they run up on stages to confront the people doing comedy. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't understand this. I do not understand this. What is wrong with this camera? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to y'all. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now listen here, y'all. Y'all already know that, uh, well, how about, how about, well, I'm just going to read the story. But before I read the story, let me just give a shout out. I mean, not a shout out, a, a warning shot to uh, Pete Davidson. Now, you know, you done gone a little bit too damn far if what they saying is true. And I guess it is uh, looking at this um, headline or this article that your ass now is messing around with Kanye's kids and putting his kids on your body. I think you've gone a little bit too far. And I think that you really got some mental illness that's coming to play. Cause that's way too fast. That's like borderline, um, a male borderline and look at a uh, Kim, her crazy ass sitting up here, uh, um, getting that deep with you that quick. Um, okay. Y'all do what y'all want to do. Y'all grown, but y'all do have children. That is watching this madness because I don't give a damn what y'all do. Because y'all, you already, anybody with common sense know that shit crazy. Now, the most saddest part about it all is that you didn't put this man's kids on your neck. Now, that is personal. That's, you done stepped out oh, to me and my, with all due respect to you, dude. You done overstepped your boundaries. That is. And who would let you do some craziness like that? I believe y'all trying to set uh, Kanye up for the okie doke. Okay? That's what I believe. Kanye, I hope. Now, I done checked you a few times, Mr. Kanye. Okay? Because I told you when you acting out of order and acting ugly, um, which is crazy because everybody... That had a heartbreak. And ooh, ain't no pain like it, honey. I get it. But you was going about it the wrong way. And I'm glad you calmed your ass down. But this is enough to make you fire right back up again. Kim's ass. And letting this dude. I would have been like, no, no, I don't think you should put the kids in there. Bitch, don't you got no boundaries? I guess not. Hell, you moaning. Never mind. Anyway, the main reason I'm doing this story is Dave Chappelle's alleged attacker was identified and charged now because he wanted his five minutes of fame. Um, 
they uh they said a 23 year old black man named Isaiah Lee was detained and booked on a thirty thousand dollar bail and charged with assault with a deadly weapon. On Tuesday at approximately ten forty five, authorities say. Uh, that Chappelle had just finished performing when a man jumped on stage and attacked him and pointed a replica of a gun with a blade at him. The attacker is seen in the video outside the venue on a stretcher with a bent elbow and was reportedly taken to the hospital for his superficial injuries. Police told the ABC Los Angeles NBC uh, News that neither Chappelle nor any officer was injured. And Chappelle did continue to show following this scary incident. Now, you know, you have to have the ability to laugh even when shit is crazy. And I thank God, thank God that some of us see stuff on the crazy side and on the lighter side. So, Nothing is off limits. It's really not. And so when <laughs> Chris Rock jumped up on the stage and asked Dave Chappelle, was that Will Smith? Oh, my God. I thought I would just die. He, <laughs> he said, was that Will Smith? So... Listen, um, I don't know what's going on with these wikis because they don't tell me they can't handle comedy no more. I mean, there's been a lot of shit that's done changed in this world. Don't get me wrong. And a lot of it maybe has changed for the better, but a lot of it has really changed for the worse, in my opinion. But one thing is unacceptable is this is an art form. Telling jokes, holding the audience captive, knowing when to snag them, knowing when to hit them with the punchline. All those things require practice and a skill. And let me tell y'all something. They didn't already took us out the game. They killed R&B music, right? So most of us that were doing R&B music, we were just like people without countries, like Eric Benet. He can make as many albums as he want to. They ain't going to be selling because Clear Channel and all them made, made uh, sure that David Hollister, you know, they got white boys up there now that's the face of R&B. What's the guy named Sam? Stay with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, even Black uh, um, Tyree. Black Ty. Huh? Come on. So... Just like they took our art form away. Don't y'all get so cocky and think these weak ass people. They said, well, we, we're gonna we're we're gonna bring the comedy venues down a little less because you know we can't take the, the uh, uh, uh risk of our venue becoming a, a place, even though the people want to see comedy. You know what I'm saying? This is a sick well. There's also a scripture, y'all, that say what they say, the generations get weaker, but wiser. Okay. Now, they might know how to do the computer and shit better than me, but they can't out common sense me. And most of them so damn weak. If they had to put up with half the stuff that we had to put up with coming up, they'd be dead. They'd be actually dead. I mean, this... <laughs> Never mind. All I'm saying is, this was really a weak act, and I don't care. Like I said, I have no uh, uh, color uh, construct problem, uh, 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 disease. If you a black fool, you a black ass fool. If you a white fool, then you a white ass fool. Both y'all deserve uh, uh, three thumbs down in the circle. How dare this dude? Ain't nobody's going to be uh, tripping on going to see a comedy show because one of these fools might jump up on the stage and assault somebody. And Will Smith, you started this. 
unbeknownst to you. I mean, it's ridiculous. Ah. I mean, it was crazy. <laughs> he asked him, was that Will Smith? That's just too crazy. Anyway, after the attack, Chappelle on stage said, I've been doing this 35 years. I just stomped the nigga backstage. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> y'all, y'all need to lighten up. Y'all need to toughen up. Now, I don't know if this is a society that has been dominated with women raising it because I was raised by a man. Okay. My mother, my mom and dad was married. And like I said, every kid on the block that I grew up on had a mama and a daddy in the house that went to work every day, came home, whooped your ass, and did whatever he had to do to keep the lights on. I ain't never went to my wall and flicked up a light switch and the lights didn't come on. And that's thanks to my mama and my daddy. Okay? So, I don't know nothing about y'all weak ass people right here. My daddy and mama have embarrassed me outside in front of people. What the hell y'all talking about? Y'all couldn't take none of that shit because y'all be the ran to call social services. That shit didn't kill me. It made me tougher. Okay? So th this kind of shit right here, I don't know what to even say about it. My mind can't even wrap around it. But I know it can happen because I know how quick y'all shut the R&B artists down from Gladys Knight. I mean, none of these people can't get no airplay. Don't just say because they was old, because somehow the white old people still uh, come on and still sing and still have a, um, nobody is downplaying them. But R&B, come on. Come on. In my opinion, when, when Clear Channel and all the, uh, record executives from the Tavis stock decided to use the rap, the gangster rap narrative to lock up a whole bunch of other black people. Because remember, COINTEL PRO, because the, the idea is to lock all y'all up, right? Got to keep these prisons full and they got to even build more. They've promised a lot of these uh, towns way a long time ago that they would build prisons and they would keep these prisons filled with y'all black asses. So the, the ninth graders out there that live in those hick towns can get $20 an hour off your black ass. Okay, I know I'm going too far. Y'all want to hear it. Y'all so weak. That's why y'all going to end up in jail. You're going to end up in jail because you're so damn weak. Honest. I'm out of here. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share.